What's up guys, Reese here from Reese3D.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to build this very simple low poly bed which can be used as a prop for uh, video games. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start as usual with a cube. So cube is one of the primitives that we almost use uh, for whatever shape we want to create. Right, so we need to keep the ground as the grid space. So I'm going to just pull this up. I'm going to scale it. Okay, this is going to be the length and this is going to be the width. Okay, and I think I just need to be a bit slimmer or a bit more, like so. Good. So on top of this, I'm going to create the bed. So let's press Control D, pull it up. And that's how it's going to be looking pretty good I'm going to make it a bit taller okay somewhat let it touch there good now I just want to give a little bevel for all these sides for uh, the bed area so let's say we'll do that for the top and for the bottom we can give a little less so let's go to shift right click and choose bevel edge there you go and I want to reduce the fraction a bit and increase the segments maybe one or two just one is also enough because this is going to be low poly model right so now I'm going to do the same thing down here go here go here and there you go we'll do the same bevel once again shift right click bevel and this time we don't want um, so much we'll make it a bit less and we'll have the segments to be one that is cool okay that starts to look good now we need to create the back and the front okay so for the back and the front I'm just going to create a cube and then we'll just do some uh, modifications to that so let's say create polygon primitives cube and this cube needs to have some division so I'm going to just keep them here and I want to basically add, um, let's go to inputs. Let me scroll this down. Okay, so we have uh, subdivisions width. We don't need that. Half subdivisions um, height. Uh, even height, we can just leave it as it is for now because we can just add that later. But what's more important is depth. There you go. So let's say one, two, three because we won't have a center point also good so now I'll just scale this out okay so let's go to the side view here there you go and we can just try to keep it exactly matching up there good so I'm gonna lift it up just keep it down here you can start from the bottom and I want to right click and choose vertex and I'm gonna click on these vertices push them up now we need to have an idea of how much height we want to have for the bed. Okay, so consider this is going to be the front area, so I can just make it a bit more taller, right? And I want to make it slimmer. And this has to touch exactly there, good. Now I'm just going back to vertex mode and just push all these guys closer just to make him slim right and I want to have a um, little bit of arc so I'm just gonna bring these two guys down and this can either be in the same place or we can also push it up that looks good now I want to add a little extrude from here so let's say select this guy one two three four Gonna extrude up not too much just a little bit good and I also want to extrude these guys out to add some detail there so let's say extrude pull this out not too much just a little bit that's nice now we just want to add uh, the same thing in the back so what I'll do is I'll just select, um, right click and choose select, control D to duplicate and the duplicated object can be pushed 
back, right? So let's just go to the front view, place in there. Okay, so now the bottom one can be made a bit smaller. So I'll just select vertex, select all these guys, push him down. Okay, there you go. Looks cool. Now, one last thing that we need to do is we need to add four, um, four more legs, right? So let's go to create polygon primitives and choose a cube. Go to the top view, press four. I'm going to bring him somewhere here. And I want to make it smaller first. Select. And make it smaller like so. And I think it can be actually on this corner here. So let's just place him somewhere there. If you want, you can also use snap. But I'm just going to put him just with my eyes. Okay, and we need to check from the other views. Let's just pull this up. Okay, so um, I want the top to be a bit bigger and the bottom to be a bit smaller. So just go ahead and select vertex. Select all these vertices. Use the scale tool, that is R, and make them smaller like so. And this can be the same size, I guess. Let's just pull it up and see how it looks. That is nice. Okay, and I also want to um, think that I can make it a bit bigger. Yeah, that looks nice. So that it's actually covering up the little projection that we have out here. So that's perfectly fine. Now, what I want to do is I want to actually push it slightly out. So now, keeping this top area selected, um, I just want to move a little bit out, like so, and this way also. So let's just check here. I'll try to keep this vertex point aligned here. So let's do that. Perfect. Okay, looking good. So now what I can do is I can actually duplicate this to these other places. So when I duplicate, I need to be careful that the projection or the, the movement that I've done uh, is towards outside. So the copy that I make should actually reflect that. So what I'll do is control D, that is for duplicate. And I can just move this out, but at the same time I need to mirror to the other side. Right. So what I can do is I can actually check this axis. This is Z axis. So for Z axis, I'm just going to give minus here. So as you can see, it just uh, flipped to the other side. So now if I just go to the top view, I can basically confirm the position here. So let's see, where is it? Select this guy. And we need to go back to the object mode. Yeah, so this has to be exactly there. So. I can select this guy and push him out. And we can make sure that it's aligned perfectly fine. Looks good. I'm going to select these two guys, press Control G to do to group them together so that they become one object. And I can simply make a mirror. This time it'll come to the other side. So I'm going to press Control D to duplicate. And the duplicated object, I'm going to use uh, X axis this time. In scale, I'm going to give minus one. So as you can see, whatever was there, um, just move out here. Okay. Now here, all I have to do is just I need to pull this up a bit more because um, here it is smaller, but here it's bigger. So let me just go back to the front view. I can see here. I can go to vertex, select all these vertices. Um, but that didn't select this guy. So let's do the same thing here. So vertex. Yeah, and I'm going to select these guys also by pressing shift and I can pull this out. Let me just check. It's a little bit above this line, so I can do the same here. And that's it. OK, so let me just uh, show you the wireframe so that you can actually get an idea of how the model actually looks.
Now just to make this a bit nicer, I'm also going to add a bit more detail here. So let's say I can add an edge loop here by choosing insert edge loop tool. Just add one here like so. And that can actually create a bit more depth here. So let's select one, two, three, four, and choose extrude. There you go. Maybe you can just scale these guys a bit more. Vertex, vertex, select all these vertices. Push them towards the side till there. Yes. That's it. Now, uh, for making more designs and stuff like that, we can add um, textures, which has the designs or details that you want to show on this object. Because we want to make this as low poly as possible, so we try to keep uh, less details here, right? So, plus if you want to have more details we can actually do some more stuff like we can do some extrude here and uh, make it a bit smaller like so we can add more details here and we can also uh, bend this to have a bit more fancy looking uh, object right so once we got this for one object we can actually delete uh, the other ones and we can uh, copy and paste the same for everything So this completes this tutorial creating a simple bed for a game.